Well, week one's in the books. Texas wins 34-9 over Rice. Um, not going to lie. After watching the first half, you know, I, and y'all know if y'all saw my last video, I'm, I'm very standoffish about this team this year. Not sure how good they can be. Not had a whole lot of expectations. But after that first half, I was so disappointed. It just it looked bad. You know, 13-6. Uh, but it's really not, it's not just the score. Like, you guys know, I don't really caught up in what the score is. It's just it didn't feel right, you know. Gilbert would have a couple of good plays, and then he would, like, lose his head and get sacked in the background or, or throw the ball away or, or, or try to latch at the wrong time. Um you know, defensively, we, we did a great job defensively this whole game, not let them score. They only got three field goals. Um, you know, so defensively, I, I was I was pleased for the most part. I mean, interior run defense needs to get a little bit better, but it, it's Rice, though, so you, you got to keep that on perspective with this video is that we are talking about Rice and not, you know, Oklahoma, Oklahoma State, or Texas A&M, or even BYU. Um, but, you know, defensively, we stopped them, you know. Um but the first half, man, it the offense was so stagnant, so underwhelming, so just blah. Second half, though, um, starts off, you know, our first passing touchdown was not from Gilbert, but it was, of course, from, uh, it was to Mike Davis, who caught it from uh, John Harris, who is, you know, or, uh, yeah, John Harris, who is uh, another freshman who I wasn't really aware of, uh, great throw, and he looks to be great. And one of the really the big highlights for um, for this Texas team is the weapons, the young weapons. Um, Mike Davis, like I talked about, he's going to be a superstar. Um, Jackson Shipley showed his legs today. Jackson is going. He looks faster than than Jordan. Not going to say he's better than Jordan. A lot of people are already putting that out there. He's definitely faster than Jordan, and we knew that coming in. And he showed his wheels. Um, and, hey, Harris looks good as well. Uh, so I think we've, we've got weapons. And the backfield is great. You know, you've got two seniors, Cody Johnson and Fozzie Whitaker. Especially Fozzie showed really good moves today. And then Malcolm Brown came in. Of course, the crowd went nuts when Malcolm came out there. Um, but people really want to see him run. And he ran great leading rusher today. Um, and, and so in the second half, we did not, the offense was well. And, and me personally, and, and give Gilbert some credit, you know, he showed off his arm. The dude has one of the strongest arms in the game. And when he gets time and he can set his feet, which you don't always get, you have to kind of create this quarterback, and that's what he has to work on. But when he can do it, does it, and he finds Mike Davis down running running uh, past his defender, he can hit him. Uh, and we're going to need that. But and me as a, as a Texas fan, though, I'm going to have to learn how to reevaluate and really rewatch this team. Uh, and it kind of changed my brains about how I think about offense in the Texas Longhorns. Because what I've been used to as a Horns fan is Vince Young and Colt McCoy spread offense, spread the defense out, and just throw the ball at will, uh, run in wide open space, uh, you know, that kind of offense where you just kill them through the air. This is going to be a much more methodical team. And so what would look stagnant to me is really not. And it's not. And you look at the numbers at the end, 220-something uh, 200, yards rushing, 277 uh, yards passing. I mean, a very balanced attack, exactly what Mac Brown wants. And so in the end, was this Rice game successful other than just winning the game? Yeah, it was. Uh, so I think it was a little too harsh on them. Uh, when the game was over, too, I kind of made some comments like I, that, that I didn't really enjoy, you know, like what I saw. But really... You know, it's the first game. Uh, rice is rice is rice still, but I still stick to what I said in the preview video, which is I'm not going to put a whole lot of stock in this game, uh, whether we played good or bad. In this one, we got a bad half in the first half and a good half in the second half. So we'll see what we can do against BYU. Uh, they beat Ole Miss today, um, and I didn't really get to watch. I watched some. And it was a very defensive battle in the first half. Not you can't get a whole lot out of that. Um, and I didn't get to see the end of it, but I saw that they won. So uh, that's going to be a much, much tougher opponent for Texas. And that's what we'll see what kind of level we're talking about with Texas. Are we going to talk about when games like BYU come up that that's the big clash and those ones we need to know? Or can we take care of business as the Cougars next week and see, okay, maybe this team can compete in the conference. This team can fight up against Missouri, 
and K State or whatever, and then move our way up to Oklahoma. No, that's that's way too far. This this team's not ready for that. If you looked at you know OU won forty seven to fourteen today, and you look up forty five and fourteen, third forty nine. OU was up 30 to nothing at one point in this game, uh, in their game. So Oklahoma, number one team in the country for a reason. They played Tulsa, who is a solid Conference UST, USA game team, um, and completely shut their offense down. So uh, Oklahoma's fine. Texas, we don't need to worry about Oklahoma. Not Texas A&M, none of them. It's about Texas. And today, I didn't think it was going to be that way after watching the first half. But in the second half, running game was well. did good. Malcolm Brown was good. The defense was really good, and Gilbert, he's coming in. We got to see David Ash came in a little bit. Case McCoy came in a little bit. They're trying to try him out, but as of right now, Gilbert's the guy. So he's got my support as of right now, but definitely not sold on him yet. We gotta, we'll gotta, we see what happens. So good job, Texas. Got the win. 1-0, one, one oh, beat Rice, um, but still a win. So hook them horns, Texas fight, and we'll see you guys next week when we play uh, BYU. See you guys later.